Welcome to Raudos Underground Trio. Once again, we have three different bands from three different parts of the world and of course three different styles and I'm putting them in worst to best order in according to my own opinion and feel free to disagree. Like I said, part of the charm here, don't take my word for it. Listen for yourself and figure out which ones are your cup of tea. I'm only to give you a little bit pointers, basic facts and what have you about these three different albums. So let's go. First, we'll go to uh, Colombia and uh, Finland with this collaboration split with Enhe Duane and um, uh, Necros Ritus. Uh, the first one is a band with four songs, uh, already an album out and all. And Necro Ritus is actually a side project of Askegai, an old veteran of the scene. I mean, doing already black metal back in the early 90s. However, this particular band is rather new one. And... Uh, Anyone is here also a little bit newer one also. Bestial Burst release coming with a nice ditchy back, even though quite plain. So like no booklet, no lyrics whatsoever. Uh, some statements here said, or if they are indeed lyrics, then I couldn't really tell. So a couple of guys here. And here it says Pagan Black Metal uh, from Colombia, basically. And then we have uh, Negro Ritos, which is just like recorded by Hellfuck, actually at Hellfuck by Behemoth 2024. And uh, that's pretty much of it. Very, very uh, stripped down, basic, but still nice looking Digiback. But that's because I like Digiback ones. So what can we tell about it is, is both are rather rough black metal, not exactly super raw, super primitive, but a little bit also that. The new one is definitely giving me Hibalba vibes from Mexico. So it's, there's like a little bit of that pagan uh, feeling definitely right there, even to a level of certain level of folkiness. But don't take it like a folk metal thing, more like traditional music in the sense, rather than anything related to folk metal. So maybe folk influences, not folk metal so much, if that makes uh, some sense there. Uh, the vocals are super screamy ones, and actually most my daughter, who said like, why is this man doing the kind of a bird-like screams? And like, I don't know, it's just part of the stuff here, but even as such, not very typical black metal vocals, because they're kind of high pitchy and definitely more the birdie type rather than your typical raspy ones or the kind of a crow like croaking or whatever. I'm not saying they are bad, but might take a little bit time to get you know used to them. But promising split here, just not that you know how to say overwhelming in terms of you know songwriting and all. So like quite decent, but no cigar at this time. Now Negrosigus is then again doing more primitive approach with less even in terms of black metal vocals because some are more like grunting, some are more like semi growling. A little bit weird in the sense of vocals and the drums sound like they're done with drum machine not really good I must say but they are not ruining it but giving this a strong demo feeling here so overall is more like a kind of a mediocre approach I'm not saying these are bad but definitely strong demo feeling with both of the bands like lacking a punch in terms of songwriting but sharing certain kind of a passion and definitely more into the underground feeling. So even though I'm not praising it here, doesn't mean I don't like respect what these guys are doing. Actually, I really respect that there are guys who are approaching this kind of old school feeling here with the music, even though it doesn't mean like they're catchy riffs or powerful production and all that stuff. It's just something that kind of takes you back off those demo days. And that doesn't mean these things don't do an impact they do, but very, very different ways than more like a veteran bands of the scene or bands with just powerful production. So with that, I'll leave it up to you whether or not you're going to check them out. Then we go to Italy and uh, Norway, but not in a way of splits. Hammer Philosophy, the desolate one, the debut album that actually had arrived um, some wrong address and it took quite a few months for me to re uh, reach this one already released in 2023 so a little bit late to the party but decided to take it right away here when i got the cd because it's not really their fault as such that the album has been traveling for a little bit more than the usual one comes with a nice uh digi back with some skulls and death present very much here and now you're already getting the niche on why because hammer philosophy is definitely a nod to this german philosopher like who was a how to philosophize with Hammer, Gorgoroth making already an album name with that and all. 
Now, if you're expecting some kind of a Gorgor take here, you're going to get disappointed because this is not exactly that. This is an album with a very, very nice dark atmosphere, and that's the best part of it. When it comes to the songwriting, it's a little bit hit and miss. There are parts where you kind of feel like, yes, it's got this industrial gold, coldness and bleakness, but a lot of riffs are like going to leave you like, leave you like, why it's not progressing, why there's not cer certain kind of a momentum. And then there are parts where it just get overextending, like the last like, over 10 minutes, and you're like, this is boring, it's taking like one fourth of the whole album and doesn't really bring anything of value. I mean, towards the end we go, the album kind of starts going in a steep decline, whereas such, it kind of starts interestingly. There are also part which I think is from a movie, but I'm like, my mind is figuring it's not really Conan. I mean, I get it, it's not Basil Polidori's, but it's giving me a little bit of the kind of uh, Monty Python vibe, which probably isn't intentional, because it's not comedy here, it's about like something else. But yeah, there are parts where it just gets kind of a too much, you know, uh, overextending its day, and that's kind of a diluting the power the album might have, because it's not really industrial, even with the bleak industrial vibe to the overall feeling. But nice bleak atmosphere, and if you're looking for that, this might for you, I just feel it a little bit work in progress. And then the best of the pile comes from United States of America, Antisma with a mockery debut album. This is also a curious case because the band was actually founded in 1991, but it took like more than 30 years for them to make the debut album. Who knows for what reasons? And the lineup hasn't been that steady. Also a Best Hilbers release. This is old school death metal. And as you can imagine from a band that started in 1991, you can really feel the veteran thing present here. I mean, it sounds like just old school. The part where it kind of reminds me of early, like two first album, both over era, without sounding exactly both over. I mean, they're not so much the grindiness as the first album, or not so much catchiness as the second album, but the kind of a dark trembling moments are definitely here. It's almost like ground shaking, kind of a simple punkish death metal. Not punk in the sense of like, it's very straight to the point, but like riffs are super simple and all. And it kind of brings you back to the era. You could think about like obituary, not sounding the same, but like simple riffs made into a, made, making a point. And that's what you have. Um, I think it's pretty cool, actually, and it would be nice to hear more from these guys as they have more time to record. Let's just hope the second album won't take another 30 plus years to come out. But this is the best of the pile, according to my own opinion. But since all of these four bands are quite different, or all three different, different releases, it's hard to figure out which one you like. Anyway, links are provided, included in the description box, so go to check them out and figure out which one you like the most, and give them a go, and... I hope you enjoy at least some of them. Now, off you go, more Underground Trio episodes coming your way very, very soon. Take care.